your own site at the end yep go ahead register domain name and let's go okay but for those of you who are very tight uh, financially and can't afford to pay five pounds a month and benefit from all the resources that we're going to provide for you I've got an alternative for you you can download um, you can download PHP and Apache. Uh, Apache basically will will make your uh, computer act as a web server okay so you can then start serving um, PHP and HTML files here we go HTTP server that's what you need to download and it says here download so this is the latest version 2.2.8 and you click on download and uh, and that's it you just follow the steps okay make this here make that one here so you can see that and then you can just click double click on it and click on run and it will install the Apache server okay I've already got it installed so I don't need to install it again but you, you know the steps okay so we're gonna exit sure exit yep okay great you need to download PHP okay the actual translator okay so you, your server can actually understand now you've got Apache you need to make it uh, understand PHP files as well interpret the PHP files so how do we do that so we again you go to www let me create it in a new tab for you so you can actually see it all www.php and here you go here's the PHP the latest version just released on the 1st of May very recent so you just download that again you just click on the downloads and it would basically bring down you can you can get the binary uh, file you can get the source code of the file and you actually see all the C files and and all the source code or you could just download the executable version you double click on that as well again and it installs it for you okay now I've already installed PHP on the computer so we don't need to install it again so it installs it and you you basically select the web server that you're going to use in this case we've we've downloaded Apache so you're going to select Apache web server 2.2.8 and it will connect the two together for you you don't need to do anything at all <coughs> okay now you've installed PHP and Apache next thing you're going to need to, to download is the MySQL okay MySQL database so you, again you would go to the web again you find a download if you just thing at the bottom here says running all Apache server if I double click on it you c there it is it's, it's running that's why it's got a green light there if I wanted to stop it I can actually click on services there's so many ways to stop it but I've got high security so I have to do it in this particular way it should start to open this and I'll just click on here and I say stop and it stops the web server you'll notice it goes red here and it goes red down there okay we'll just click on OK we'll close this okay now we go to, again to the, the Internet Explorer or Firefox or whatever you use as a web, ex, uh, web browser and you simply type local host okay if you type local host it says here it works Umicom now that page okay by default it, it will actually say it works or it will show something here says welcome to Apache or something al along those lines okay so it will do something like that now how do you edit that page and how do we start uh, uploading well not actually uploading anything because now it's uh, the servers on your computer so how do we actually edit it now I'll tell you where it's located when you install the Apache if you click on computer okay you go to drives I've got a few um, hard drives but let's say you go to the system drive C and if you go to file program files click on that you'll notice here it says Apache software foundation if you click on that it says Apache 2.2 which is the version that we've installed and you notice something called HD docs hypertext documents okay that's what it stands for you click on it and you notice here there's a file called index.php now I'll tell you something when you've installed the Apache there is uh, there's going to be a file called index.html not PHP I've actually created that file myself 
and I've I've deleted the HTML file. 